Okay, so today I thought I'd talk about, I mentioned this in a video a couple days ago, and then a lot of you mentioned you wanted me to do it, so I'm going to talk about the best sunscreen products for reapplying during the day, not necessarily uh, for your first application, ones that are easy to reapply. There's a couple things I want to mention. Uh, be cautious about combining different products that contain zinc oxide and avobenzone. Uh, avobenzone is shown to degrade zinc oxide, so you want to avoid using them together. Uh, just to avoid that issue because if it degrades then you're not getting much protection uh, The other thing is uh, The general rule is to reapply about for every two hours of sun exposure not necessarily every two hours Every single day. I, met, I read a comment from a gal. that was reapplying her sunscreen every two hours every day Even when she was inside. I'm like god. I can't that sounds like a real pain So if you're outside for two hours reapply uh, the other thing is you're always going to get the best results cleaning off what you're wearing now and putting a new layer on. It's just, that's just the best for look wise. Uh, so cleansing everything off and just putting a new layer on is always going to be your best bet, especially if you're concerned about how you're going to look because when you reapply it, a lot of things end up tending to look greasier and can pill up a bit. So it's always going to be easiest to remove everything and reapply, but sometimes it's just not possible. So Here's some options for when you can't do that. And my number one option, uh, the Abib Quick Sun Stick Protection Bar with SPF 50. I really love this one. It goes on so smoothly. Uh, although for a stick, you got to be conscientious about how much you apply because you still got to get that uh, certain amount. I think it's like two milligrams per centimeter or something like that. So, um, but this one's just really easy. And you know what? It doesn't feel greasy uh, when you smooth it on your skin and it doesn't feel very shiny. Uh, it will go over pretty easily a lot of foundations, and this is the one I carry with me. Uh, I actually just carry this in my purse, and it's just super easy. You don't even get your hands dirty. So you can't beat that, and typically, uh, if you put this over foundation and powder, if it's not a super thick layer foundation or powder, it will blend in pretty nicely. So this is my number one option. I love this product. It is wonderful. Highly recommend checking it out if you haven't, and I'll mention Abib again uh, in a minute or two. So um, I will mention Round Lab also makes a birch sunscreen stick with SPF 50. I haven't tried that one yet, but I've heard some good things about it. There are other stick options. So check those out. But so far with everything I've tried, this is my favorite. So um, Hello Sunday also makes a stick uh, version as well. So um, next up, another great easy thing is going to be just a spray sunscreen. And again, you have to be conscientious that you're applying enough because just one little spritz from a distance isn't going to be enough to cover it. Actually, when I apply uh, spray sunscreen, like on my body, I just spray it in my hand and then smooth it on my skin. That's not what most other people do, but I'm a little paranoid. Most people just spray it and then go. I spray it in my hand. Then that just ensures you get a little bit more coverage and absorbs correctly. So for spray forms, uh, the Naked Sundays SPF Hydrating Glow Mist is wonderful, really nice product. This one does contain avobenzone. So if you're using a foundation or something with zinc oxide, just be aware of that. Um, but otherwise this one's really quite nice. So, um, Australia passed some recent laws about, uh, discussing sunscreens with influencers. So I'm gonna have to read more, but if you're in Australia and you've heard that, leave a comment. I, I thought that was a little interesting. Don't know much about it. Just started reading it a little bit. So I'm gonna have to do more research on that, but kind of interesting, especially with Australia. I don't know if they're concerned about people, uh, not finding a good enough sunscreen or trying certain tricks to apply it or what but anyway so I thought that was interesting there's got to be more of the story um I will also mention Hello Sunday they've got a really nice one uh SPF 30 mist this one's also really nice no scent to it applies absorbs pretty nicely so uh these in my opinion are gonna be your second best way to reapply during the day without without starting everything all over again because it's painful enough to get right you know what I just the older I get, the lazier I get. And I, half the time I don't wear foundation anymore because I just don't even care, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Unless I'm, like, going somewhere. But anyway. Okay. And then I will mention Kate Somerville also has a really nice uh, setting spray with sunscreen in it. There's more of them. But these are just happen to be two of my favorites. Uh, next up, powder sunscreen is an option. Although we have the same issue. Uh, especially with powder sunscreen, it's so hard to get the proper amount applied to get the actual protection, which is why these are probably better as like a touch-up because I wouldn't reply, uh, I wouldn't reply, I wouldn't, uh, what word am I looking for? I wouldn't uh, rely, reply, rely on these as like my sole form of sunscreen, 
But if you're out at the beach or whatever, these are pretty easy um, with the pump. I know Tarte changed the color of it, but the formula is the same. Um, color Science, Paula's Choice also makes similar ones. Uh, the It Cosmetics Airbrush Perfecting Powder, the SPF 50 is another nice one with uh, sunscreen in it. Again, you have to apply like a crap load of it. Is that the technical term? Well, I could swear, but that sounds worse. So I'll just say you have to apply a ton of it to get the actual, like, you know, looking like a ghost-faced zombie, which, you know what, whatever, it's its own look. So uh, to get, like, proper coverage, but as, like, a touch-up or something like that, it's better than not doing anything. I just wouldn't rely on it as my sole form of sunscreen. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, then in terms of other uh, sunscreens, mousse sunscreens, the Evie face mousse is wonderful. It's pretty easy to reapply. Uh, Evie says this one lasts eight hours, but clearly as I look through my UV camera, this one really starts to fade on the camera after like two, three hours. So, um, eight hours, you'll still probably give you again some protection, but I still recommend reapplying this every two hours, just like you normally would with everything else. But the mousse texture is nice. It's light and it applies pretty easily over other products. Um, okay. So other ones. Uh, the Abib Heartleaf Sun Essence, which I recently reviewed. I love this one. It's got such a wonderful liquid texture to it. It absorbs super nicely, super quickly. It doesn't feel greasy. It's got a lot of good filters in there. And this one is a pretty good one, although the bottle's glass, so it's not super easy to, like, carry around with you. But it's a good one for reapplying, even though it's heavy. And it really uh, soaks in nicely, doesn't pill or anything like that. So it's one of the more elegant ones for reapplying. Uh, next up, we've got the Round Lab Birch Sun Cream, which I absolutely love this. No fragrance, no drying alcohols in here. Uh, it applies really wonderfully. And for the most part, this one reapplies over foundation, over powder. Pretty good. Uh, not much pilling or anything like that. It's better than most other sunscreens, in my opinion, for reapplying during the day. Um, and then next up, we've got uh, the B Lab Real hydrating matcha sunscreen this one's another nice one very elegant no white cast um, no fragrance in it. it does have some alcohol in it but it really does apply pretty nicely and pretty easily over powder makeup things like that so it's a really nice one in my opinion for reapplying throughout the day got a couple more uh, the hygie vegan sun cream this one's also really nice uh, no fragrance in it does have some alcohol in it but overall this one absorbs pretty quickly smooths over skin easily no white cast no pilling no issues like that doesn't leave your skin shiny and it really does work pretty well over most foundations powders things like that and then last but not least i hesitate to even recommend this brand for sunscreen but this sunscreen uh their new version of it it's decent uh and you know what it does reapply pretty nicely their airy all day all day airy sunscreen spf 50. It does apply pretty nicely over things without making it look pilly or greasy or anything like that. So um, I'd probably, uh, if you're dry dry skin, the Abib one is great. Uh, the sprays are always wonderful. The sticks, this one is wonderful. It doesn't really end up, even when you apply several swipes of it, it doesn't end up looking too greasy. And I really like that. So uh, these are my favorites for reapplying during the day. Just don't go too crazy. I mean, protect yourself. Don't get skin damage. Do what you can. Don't, like, I, there's a lot of, like, obsession about, like, sunscreen, like, a little bit over the top. Uh, I'm probably a little over the top, too. But just, you know what, do live your life. Don't get burned. Reapply it. You know what, even if you look a little bit shiny when you reapply it, who cares? I'd rather look shiny yesterday than be burnt or damaged today, tomorrow, or 10 years from now. So I really wish I would have worn sunscreen when I was younger. But see, take my advice and start now because then you won't have that regret when you're older like me. It'll just you'll be happier, so... Um, anyway, so those are my thoughts. Again, be conscientious about minerals and chemicals. It's better if you're going with one one type to just stick with that. I've read people that will mix chemical sunscreen with mineral sunscreen. I don't think, I don't recommend you do that just because you're not a chemist. I wouldn't do that. I just let the manufacturers that make it do it because even sometimes they get it wrong. So there we go. Anyway, um, anyway, interesting hearing from you guys about your reapplying uh, habits, what you do. If you found something that works for you, leave a comment. Love hearing from you. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.